So Pete, I've got a vSAN uh, cluster and I want to look at what's going on with performance on that. Uh, where do I start? And then what would be my next steps on going deeper from there? Right, so you start really at the same location that you would start if you were using a traditional storage, that being vCenter. Uh, we use uh, um, the vCenter as that level of visibility in terms of monitoring the performance of a vSAN cluster. Uh, we collect the data using what's known as the vSAN performance service, but it's all rendered right within vCenter. And you can look at that just right at the cluster level. You'll be able to see all of the key storage related metrics that you're going to see there. Uh, but what's most interesting about that is that we offer detailed levels of different types of storage performance uh, characteristics. On a per VM basis, you're going to see things like latency, IOPS, throughput, so forth. But then you're going to see the backend traffic that is occurring. This is all of the other IO activity that's occurring to ensure that the, you know, that the data is fully resilient and, and all of that good stuff. Uh, and then you can get down at, at a much more granular level to the capabilities and the uh, characteristics of the disk groups that live on each respective host. So we have a, a uh, significant amount of information out there that is collected and that can be consumed also in other ways. Anything that uses the vSAN APIs will be able to see that. So if you are a, um, a user of vRealize operations, you'll be able to see that very same data uh, but just rendered through vRealize operations. So uh, there's a lot of options there for uh, for our users. I like that we've got these these uh, kind of bottom view down from the VM looking down and from performance as well as kind of a bottom up. You can look at the individual devices and components and see what they're seeing. Yeah, that and that is key for any sort of troubleshooting scenario. Oftentimes it's really common for a user to look in at one specific part without looking at the context in which they're they're viewing it. So, you know, they may look at it at an individual VMDK, but not be fully aware of the activity that's occurring on that host or even across the cluster. And, you know, maybe there might be some, some other activity that may be influencing that. So uh, we really do render that uh, performance data in a, in a really compelling way and an easy to understand way.